Hi everybody, my name is Dana Billington. I am one of the instructors at the Vineyards Country Club. Um, I'm also the nutritionist there. Welcome to my garage. Today we're gonna to do a 30 minute workout for our core, which is our shoulders to our hips and everything in between. So we're gonna get started. Um, you really don't need any equipment. You can just do this body weight. If you do have a pair of the looped bands or booty bands, Go ahead and grab a pair. I'll give you a second to do that. I'm gonna turn on some music. It's not very loud, but I really wanna make sure that you can hear me. So if you need to go get anything, go ahead and grab it. And we're gonna get started. So most of this is going to be out of the ground. So if you have a mat, carpet, maybe a beach towel, go ahead and grab that as well. I'm gonna do Two exercises and we're going to superset them. We're going to do two sets of everything today and we're going to go for a little bit higher reps since this, this is body weight. Um, if you do have the bands, I'm going to show you the first set with the bands, second set without. So we're going to start with some bridges. We want our bands to be up above our knees, not on our knee joint itself, so kind of on the knee part of our quads. And we're gonna lay down. So we're gonna warm up our hips a little bit and our lower back here. So going into a bridge position, we're gonna lay down on our back, nice and flat. I'm sure you guys can see me. So I'm gonna press up through my heels, breathe it out, hold up, one, two, push those knees out, and bring it back down, nice and slow. And then back up again, breathe it out, push those heels away. And down at the same time. Back down. That's two. Closer your heels are to your butt. The more glutes you're going to get on this, and less hamstring. Back down. Breathe it out. And up. And back down. That's four. Back up again. And that's five. Remember, you don't need bands. Second set, I'll show you with no bands. And there's seven. Back down. Eight. And nine. There's ten. Breathe out. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes nice and hard. Keep that tension on. We're going for four more. Press through those heels. Breathe it out. And we've got three more to go. This is a nice little warm up to do before you go play golf or tennis. Or even if you're going to lift some weights. We've got one more up. Breathe it out, hold one, two, and back down. And for your sake, I'm going to turn this way. You guys can stay the way you are. We're going into what they call metronomes or windshield wipers. So arms out in T position. We're bringing the legs up. We're going to drop those legs over to one side. Breathe it out, bring them back up to center. Other side, breathe it out, bring it back up to set. I just kept my bands on for time's sake. They're really not doing anything. So remember, if you don't have bands, it's not a big deal. Second set, I'll show you with no bands. Remember, we're going to go back to those bridges. Do this for a second set of bridges. Remember your breath. Breathe it out, bring those legs back to center. Breathe it up, legs back to center. This is five on that side. And five on this side. We have five more to go to each side. Back up to center. Remember, we want to keep those shoulders down on our mat as much as possible. You probably noticed one way you can rotate a little bit farther, and the other not so much. We're on eight. And eight. 
Breathe it out. Bring those legs back to center. That is nine. One more. Back up to ten. Okay, so if you have your bands on, go ahead and leave them on. This set, I'm going to take them off so that people with no bands can just see a set with no bands on. So, again, laying back down, facing the on my back. If you want to go palms facing up, open up the shoulders a little bit. Go ahead. Remember, feet close to the glutes. Press up through the heels. And back down. Remember your breath. You're breathing it out. And you lift those hips up. You might feel a nice stretch right here in the front of the hips. And we're working the glutes back here. So important to have strong glutes. Folks, get your power output in whatever sport you play. Helps alleviate back problems. And seven. Press up through those heels. Eight. You still will get some hands from here. But your main focus should be your glutes. This is five. Second seven. That's ten. I haven't done my fives. Okay, we got four more to go. One. Two. Breathe it out. It's three. We've got one more to go for four. And back down. Okay, remember we're going into metronomes next. So I'm going to spin so you guys can see what's going on from this angle. So again, my arms are out in my T position. Palms are facing down. Legs go up. And then we're going to take to one side, bring it back to center, breathe it out, and back to center. So if you have tight hamstrings like I do, you're not going to get your legs or your knees completely straight. And that's fine. The most important thing here is that we want to keep 90 at the hips. So think we're making an L from our femur with our back. Breathe it out. Breathe it out. This is five. And then five. You might feel a few little adjustments in your spine. Especially if you're doing this early in the morning. This is seven. Bring it out back to center. And these are ten reps. And we're on eight. And again, your knees don't have to be touching, but try to have your feet touch. Give the whole range of motion. This is nine. Ten. And ten. Good job. All right, moving on to your next set of exercises. We're going to go back with our base. This is our only standing exercise. I'm going to use the wall to go ahead and put my bands on. I don't want to fall on camera. I'm sure you guys can look at those. So, you want them again above the knee joint itself, right on the knee part of our quads where they start. So we're just going to go for some squats. So we want to make sure that our feet are hip width to shoulder width apart. And we want to make sure most of 
our weight gets transferred back to our heels. We want to break at the hips, push our knees out. That's why we have our hands up to the them. And bring it back up and breathe it out. Make sure that you squeeze your glutes up top all the way through the full range. Back down, press up through those heels. And up. so these are 15 reps as well. And it doesn't matter what you do with your hands, this is kind of what I always do. I do a lot of what they call goblet squats, so I'm going to do a little dumbbell sometimes. Breathe out, stand up tall, that's five, six. And I forgot to tell you, when we get to 15, we're going to do a little pulse hold at the bottom for 10 second count. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So to really focus on your form with these, take them nice and slow. That's fourteen. So remember we pull it down on this last one. Fifteen. And pulse it out. A little kind of ski jumps. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Stand up nice and tall. You can either take your hands off or keep them around the ankles. The next one we're going to do is called plank step outs. So we're going to be a plank from the elbows. And to make the intensity a little bit harder, we're going to step out with our hands. So remember, if you want to take them off, you can. If you want to just hold in a plank position while leaving the uh, like step out, just go ahead and do that too. And remember, if you need to drop to your knees, go ahead and drop to your knees. Don't drop to your belly and make it extend in the little back. So, elbows should be right underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips to start, and then kick it back. Either A, you're going to hold, or we're going to step to one side, bring it back to center, step to the other side, bring it back to center. So now we're working shoulders, part of our core. We're working our hips. And of course, we're working our abs. Four. These should be nice and slow and controlled. If you want to do a couple and you feel like, wow, that's all I can do, that's fine. Then just hold the plank. Six. Remember, if we need to take a break, take a break. So we just don't want to be bouncing like this, okay? Eight, and count my cheating one. Nine. And ten, drop it down to the knees, stretch it back if you want to. Take a minute to breathe it out if you need to. We're going back to standing. This time I'm going to do without my band, so my now again, people can see. Uh, so we're going back to your squat, second set. 15 reps again. So again, sit back on those heels. Down and up. Breathe it out. And that's three. Four, remember, squeeze those glutes up top. I'm going to do a couple this way so you can kind of see this angle. There's six. See how I drive my hips forward? Eight. Nine. Ten. Try and keep your head up. Eleven. Four so it should be nice and tall. As taller you can get it, everybody's going to be different. So I draw forward a little bit. That's 14. Here we go, 15, down and hold. 10, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, we got this. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, bring it up. Take those legs out. Okay, if you have your hands and you want to do another set of those plates, step out with your pants on. Go ahead and grab them. 
Come around the ankles. Otherwise, we're going down the back to plank. I'm going to do the step outs without the bands just so my non band people can see what that will look like. So, back up in our plank position. And again, step to one side, then to the other. Nice and slow and control. Remember, if you cannot do these, do not worry. Just hold the plank and do your best. Remember, everybody's at a different level. And I can't see any of you guys. But, so just do your best. That's all I ask. Is that everybody just does their best. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and ten. Stretch it back if you need to. And we're going to move on. So the next one we're going to do, keep your bands handy. We're going to start with alternating V-ups. These you do not need. Any uh, bands or anything you can body weight. If you feel like you want to up the intensity and you have dumbbells, you can go ahead and grab a dumbbell and hold it like so. Arms are up over the head. Legs are nice and straight. We're going to crunch it up, reaching up one leg and back down. Opposite leg, bring it out and back down. So that's one rep. We're doing ten. That's two. Three. Three. And remember again, if you're like me and you have tight hamstrings, I can't straighten my legs to see my legs because my hamstrings are so tight. So, a little bend in the knees, okay, here. So, six. And everybody's height is going to be different on these two. Again, I have very tight low back. And my range of motion is not as good as somebody that has a not so tight back. That's nine, ten. Breathe it out and ten. Good. Back down. All right, our next one, we're going fire hydrants. I'm gonna show us that with the bands and then I'll show us that without the bands. So for these, I'm gonna stand up and quickly put them on. So again, we're going back up on the meaty part of our knees. A lot of these exercises that we're doing today, that's where our bands go. I chose these exercises because they can be body weight as well. So. There are many others you can do with these bands, but for today, that's it. So we're going fire hydrants. So if you've ever seen a male dog, then he goes to the bathroom on fire hydrants. That's exactly what this is. So hands underneath the shoulders, nice straight line. Knees should be underneath the hips. So all we're going to do is lift that leg, breathe it out, down and up. So I have equal distribution on my hands and my leg that's down. Seven. Eight. Remember, you don't have to use the bands for this. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Remember to breathe it out as you lift that leg. 13, 14, and 15. Stretch it out if you need to. I'm going to flip around just so you guys can see you don't need to. So again, line yourself up. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. And here we go. My left leg. And remember, you're doing the right leg, no biggie. 
Breathe it out. Breathe it out and lift. In here, we don't want to hike the hip. What I mean by that is kind of rotate. Try to keep your hips nice and even. That's eight. Nine. Remember equal distribution. With our hands. And our base leg that's down. That's 12. 13. 14. And 15. Good. Stretch it back if you need to. As you stretch it out, I'm going to take my pants off. If you have them on, go ahead and take them off or just leave one on if you want to go back to your V-ups. Just keep it wrapped around your leg if you want to do your second set of fire hydrants with your bands. So again, leg back down, arm straight, leg straight. We're going to breathe it out, lift. Back down to center. Breathe it out. Back down. Breathe it out. And that's two. That's three. Hope you guys are sweating. Cool. I got a nice little sweat going on. Five. Well, hopefully you're lazy. It's not too bad in my garage on this time of day. It's pretty early in the morning. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine, remember your breath. Breathe it out. Back down. Breathe it out. And back down. Yeah, uh, woo, you should have felt that right there and now that. Okay, let me get back over. Second last set of our fire hydrants. So hands back underneath the shoulders. I want a nice straight line. I should you should see like a nice little square. My shoulders, my hips. Got a little table over there. Alright, second set I'm doing without the bands just to uh, do a set with my non band people. Make sure everybody uh, can see and get the most out of this. Seven, eight, Ten, we have five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Stretch back if you need to. As you stretch, I'm going to turn around and bring it the other way. So again, that nice tabletop position. And here we go with the next leg. Breathe it out and lift it up. These are great exercises to do. Like I said, as a warm up to your score, or just as a little PT. Uh, you know, usually everybody gets. We get sore back sometimes in their life. So these are great exercises to do as uh, maybe like a prehab. That's 14. And 15. Stretch it back if you need to. We're going to our last set of exercises. It's actually three exercises in one. And we're going to start back on our back again. Keep your bands in because you have been using them, you're going to want to use them for your thumb and hips. So, we're going to start with what I call them legless or leg like lowering, however you want to look at it. So, I do have a tight bag. If you have any back issues, you probably want to put your hands underneath your tailbone area. And we're going to start with our legs up. 
why we start with a relatively safer position to start with, then lowering down. So we're going to start up top. Again, we can see how nice and tight my hand strings are. So I, this is the straightest we go right now. And I'm going to lower down, squeezing my glutes as I get lower to the ground. As soon as I feel my low back come off the mat, which is right about there, I lift back up and breathe it out. Slow down, nice and slow and control, squeeze those glutes, and lift them up and breathe it out. That's three. Four. We have 12 of these. Five. Nice and slow all the way down. And lift those legs up. Six. So after this, we're going into flutter kicks. Right into it. If you need to take a break, go ahead and take a break. No worries. Fine. Remember, go at your own pace. Ten. 11, 12. So now we're going to go down about 45 degrees. Legs stay straight. My toes are pointed. And we're going to flutter kick. 2, 3, 20. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. If you need to do a little tuck, posture your pelvic tilt, stretch out that back a little bit. Go ahead and do it. The young people, go ahead, go back. Up again, same spot we've been going with our bands. Up on the knee part of our quads. Never on the knee joint. We don't want to irritate the ligaments. Or even the tendons. Take a longer cut to heal. Alright, so now we're going donkey kicks. So I don't really have us go down on our elbows. So we're coming down on our elbows. It's okay if you internally take a little bit here because you want to put a little bit of pressure on your elbows. Try not to if you can help it. So I'm going to dorsi flex my foot, which is my toe comes towards my shin. So as I drive my heel up to the ceiling, I bring it back down, breathe it out, and drive it up. My hands are sliding a little bit because they're a little bit sweaty. So try to keep them a teeny bit lower than my heart. My are starting to slide. You know you can sweat, right? Just do the mat stuff. Eight, nine, ten. These we're going to do a little pulse too when we get to 15. I'll show you. It's a 10 count pulse just like our uh, squats we did. 13, 14, 15, hold it up. Little pulses. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good. Stretch that back. That you should have really felt. So I'm going to turn again just so you guys can see on this side. So again, back down on the elbows. Back in our position. Dorsey flex that foot. So go toward the chin. Drive that heel to the ceiling. Down and up. Don't forget your breath. Breathe it out. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Guys, we're almost done.
Taking those bands off. Hopefully, we're at 30 right now. Hopefully, you guys are okay with running over a few minutes. We're going to do our last sets here, and then we're done. So, hands back underneath. Legs up top. Lower down nice and slow. Whip it up. And breathe it out. Squeeze those glutes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Almost done. And every breath. Breathe it out. Seven. Thanks again. Have a great day.